Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack, brand new for January of 2023. This is set 75345, ages 6 plus, with 119 pieces and retails for $20. Um, yes, $20 is so expensive for a battle pack, but I don't think we have a lot of complaints given that this is a 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and we got a larger kind of clone trooper battle pack um i think two years ago now but uh this one is is really quite cool um i must say we have four super cool clone troopers and they are unique they're not just standard 501st um some people have been calling this pack the clone trooper specialist battle pack um, for reasons which we will go into in just a moment. Looking at the package a little closer, you can see the black greebling, uh, which looks pretty cool, and then the orange stripe. I'm not sure if this is, I think that's maybe for the Clone Wars. I don't know. They seem to change up the packaging every year, and it's never very cohesive, I feel like. But you see a good display of all of the clone troopers, as well as this small tank on the back. Just a few play features and kind of like a little diorama scene there. So taking a look at this first clone trooper, this one is actually considered the 501st clone trooper specialist. Um, and you can see the two specialist markings on the chest there. He has a long gun and this really unique helmet piece that's like a visor. I think that that actually looks really nice. It fits over the eyes pretty well. And he has just the regular helmet. Um, when you pull it up, but overall, I think it looks pretty neat. Regular uh, legs as well, um, but that, yeah, that visor piece makes it very interesting. This one here is the 501st officer. You can tell because of the um, waist skirt. It's just printed on, unfortunately, so it's very small, easy to miss, but it is a little bit different. Um, the belt is also blue, which is kind of a cool, unique uh, mark regular clone trooper helmet and then he does have an antenna we get a pack of blue colored visor accessories and antenna accessories um, which now matches the orange versions that we got for uh, commander cody and his group um, he has just a small blaster there and of course just like all clone troopers they all have the same head which is going to be this one here and then we get two of what they consider the heavy troopers and so he's got a more interesting um, torso we've seen these before just a little bit extra it looks like he's got like a pauldron on the side and then some extra ammo. Legs, I think, are the same. Yeah, um, white belt. And then, of course, the helmet is just a little bit different. We have some like extra stripes up on the head there, um, which look pretty cool. And then on the back, I really like the use for these tiny backpacks. And then we have more decorating on the torso there. But I really like those small backpacks. It's just a printed one-by-one -one tile. And it looks really nice. They have a little bit of heavier guns. And we do get two of these in the set. Taking a look at the tank, and it's, I guess it's not tank, it's just an artillery piece, but um, it's like a cannon. Um, it's okay. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the the yellow and the tan and the red sticking out of this. It just, it doesn't seem quite cohesive. The legs are a little odd. Uh, you got to make sure they're even or they'll look really weird. There is a seat for a trooper, which I'll show you, and then there is a flick, actually a spring-loaded missile in this, which is interesting for such a small small set. I don't really like the way it sticks out the back there, but that is what we get. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to be buying this for the tank. You're going to be buying this for the clone troopers, um, and so it's kind of inconsequential, I guess, what this looks like. Um, it's not bad. I just think that the coloring on it is a little bit weird, personally, um, but overall, I mean, it's nice and compact. You don't have any extra, like, unnecessary micro builds or anything. You just have the tank and the troopers, so it's pretty... Pretty straightforward, $20 a pack. Um, I definitely see this being very popular. Um, you can definitely take off the extra accessories from the officer and then the clone trooper specialist and have some more regular clone troopers. Um, and then, you know, obviously you're just going to get a button of heavy troopers doing this, but you can kind of customize them a little bit and I do appreciate it for that. And I think that's pretty cool. So anyways, guys, that's basically um, this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.